Hey all my Crimsonites and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel where we embrace our femininity, increase our womanly values, and celebrate our brothers. So join me on our feminine journey to learn, heal, and grow. Hey there, my Crimsonites, and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel. I'm your hostess, femininity coach, and author of the Crimson Cure, and this is my perspective. So, you know, I've got something that's interesting here, and this is a question about submission. This is a question about whether or not women should be easily led or not, and I'm going to let this video play, and then we're going to talk about it. So, without further ado, here we go. Do you feel like you're easy to be led? By who? In general. You couldn't lead me. Um, but yeah, I do feel like I'm 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 easy to be led. I'm led every day. D David leads me here in this everything he tells me to do, I do it. In a relationship, I'm led. By my friends, I'm led. By my mother, I'm led. By people who I trust to lead me, I am led for sure. And we also have to dispel that narrative. A woman who has an opinion, a woman who is intelligent, and a woman who is not afraid to demonstrate both doesn't equate to a woman who can't be led. People are led by people who they admire, love, and respect, right? When the advice makes sense, when the leadership is coming from a pure place, when the environment feels safe, we are okay being led. You don't mind me asking, Donnie, oh, yeah. do you? Now, I don't know the dynamic between these two people because she opened that up with a shot telling him that he couldn't lead her. So since I've never seen this podcast before, I've never seen the interaction between these people or I've never seen these people at all prior to this clip. I can't comment on what that was about seem personal. But aside from that, I want to take this opportunity to sort of, and I've done it before, but it's a point that needs to be reiterated consistently, I think, because should a woman be easily led? That depends on who you're talking about. Should she be easily led by anybody? No. She should be led by her husband. But then again, we were assuming that proper vetting and all of those things took place prior to a marriage. And now in the marriage, she should not be difficult with her husband and fighting against his leadership. The reason why I wanted to touch on this is because this is, a, I think, a misunderstanding in our community about what a submissive woman looks like, what she sounds like, what she is in reality versus what we might think of in a fantasy world. A submissive woman is intelligent. That's number one. Because I think that a lot of times both men and women in our community think that submissive women or women that can be led are stupid, for lack of a better term. We're dummies. We're idiots. And as idiots, we don't have any input that is valuable or that is meaningful to our husbands, to our relationships. There's nothing that we can say that holds any value because we're idiots. Because what? who cares what an idiot thinks? about anything idiots don't think so they have to be led because they can't think and when a lot of women think that and unfortunately a lot of men think it a lot of men that i would wager have never actually seen a submissive woman in action 
thinks that she doesn't that she doesn't think about anything and that she doesn't offer any valuable meaningful like i said insight or she doesn't have a comment to make so that's number 1 submissive women are viewed as stupid right it's it it is not looked upon highly in our community, submissive women. Submissive women are not only looked upon as inferior of inferior intelligence, we are also looked upon as, um, what's another word? Pushovers comes to mind, doormats. What do I mean by doormats? Because if a woman in her marriage pipes up about anything or has a difference of thought, maybe a difference of opinion about something, a question about something, that's automatically looked at as she's being combative about whatever or she's trying to argue about whatever and that really couldn't be further from the truth because you can disagree or you can have a question without disrespect and without um arguing without causing an uproar it can be done and too many times in our community submissive women are looked at as these passive dotards nice women but mutes we don't or we shouldn't have thoughts and opinions of our own and that your husband can't be questioned or he can't have, like he can't use you as the sounding board, right? Can't bounce an idea off of you and get relevant feedback because the only way you can give relevant feedback is if you had intelligence in the first place. Giving relevant, insightful, valuable feedback and insight requires intelligence. It requires you the ability to think independently of your husband. You have a different thought. You have a different perspective. You're coming at things from a feminine perspective, and that's different than the masculine perspective. And just because it's different doesn't necessarily mean it's oppositional. We have a hard time with that in our community. We have a hard time with that. And that makes a lioness's job doubly hard. It makes it difficult to be a lioness because we're gonna come in and we're going to be easy to deal with. We're not combative and argumentative and crazy. But at the same time, we're some of the most highly intelligent women, though. I've never seen a dumb lioness. I have never encountered an idiot lioness. I've never done it. We usually have our own experiences that we draw from and things of that nature. And we have things to offer in our relationships. And sometimes an offense is taken to that. Well, why are you saying something? Was you just arguing? No. Like, but if you're going to bring ideas to me and you're going to use me as the sounding board or you're going to, you're coming to me in order to receive some type of feedback then shouldn't I be intelligent enough to give it to you? 
should not be aware enough of what's going on in this relationship in order to give it to you. Because one thing that I get bothered by and really I get triggered by is the concept that in order to be a good woman or to be considered a good woman, you're with a man and he does not have to tell you his vision. He does not have to tell you where he's leading you. He does not have to reveal to you any of his motives, any of his thoughts, any of his uh, vision, any of his purpose, any of his. He doesn't he basically doesn't have to prove. That he's a good leader, see, submissive women are submissive, but we're smart. And along with that intelligence comes discernment. See, I'm I'm submissive, but every do, every man can't get that out of me. Every man can't get that out of me. You, you have to have what it takes to get that out of me. Because the first thing that I got to do as a lioness is I got to trust your judgment. And in order to gain trust for your judgment, I have to see how you move with or without me. How do you even move in your life? Are you just a person that's really kind of untrustworthy? You, you know, kind of step over people or you, you know what I'm saying? You just don't have really good integrity, the way in which you move and do things. Because if you don't have good integrity with other people, you're not going to have it with me. You're not. If you can be slippery and slithery and snaky with other people, you're going to do it with me. Because I just got here. These other people don't have history with you and you're still snaking them. So I don't have high hopes about what you will and won't do to me. Right? Your life got to be in some type of order. You cannot come to me with a whole chaotic jumble of a mess of your life and think you're going to be able to get me on board, get me on board to do what? To do what? Right? So you can't get that out of me. You got to show me you going somewhere in order you want to be followed. Right? Lionesses are supposed to have discernment. We supposed to. Easily led doesn't mean be goofy. Easily led does not mean be gullible to anything. Because as we speak, I have a whole entire husband. If I go somewhere and some other man starts barking orders at me and it's and he's just doing it like it's not an emergency, it's not, you know what I'm saying? Some other dude wants me to start doing stuff. Listen, I'm already under leadership. So your leadership, this other random dude, you don't have, I mean, what are you talking about? I already got marching orders. And it, I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to go against what my husband, me, what me and my husband have agreed to, to randomly do what some other dude is saying. Like, unless you some type of emergency work and you yelling, come on, move, move, move. We got to go. We got to get out. Unless that's the case. You understand? So be easily led by, but easily led by who? And under what circumstances? See, there has to be parameters for that. There are parameters for that. Because the position that I'm in as a woman is that I have placed my entire, my, my life decision making, the direction of my life and all of those things are no longer under my control. They are with my husband. So I got to trust him in order to do that. That cannot be random. That cannot be willy nilly. That cannot just be off the strength of whatever. Like there's a whole vetting process. I watched him. Like I watched how he was talking and I watched how he was moving. And that was a conscious decision on my part. Say, okay, we get married. Then the submission 
in totality has to happen. Because it's my husband. Do y'all understand? Do y'all are y'all picking up what I'm putting down? We got this thing that I'm trying to break in our community and in, in our thought patterns about who good women are. We think good women are the women who don't have anything to say. We're mutes. We just put our heads down and we don't have anything to say or to add or anything of value to give or anything. You can take us through a whole bunch of mess and foolishness and we supposed to smile through it and be okay with the crap that get done to like we got a real interesting concept anyways jump down in the comment section let's have the conversation jump down in the comment section let me know what you think like share subscribe to the channel if you have not once again i'm your hostess the crimson cure and this was my perspective bye bye crimsonites <laughs>